Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you had a good night's rest. You're ready to face the day, whatever that's going to hold for you. I'm going to read to you today from the book of Genesis, chapter 45 of the book of Genesis. In this chapter, we find that Joseph has been reunited with his brothers. He is ready to tell them uh, who he is or... Um, lets them know and scares them to death. They think that he's going to kill them, of course. But let's start in chapter 45, verse 1. Then Joseph could not refrain himself before all them that stood by him. And he cried, Caused every man, calls every man to go out from me. And there stood no man with him, while Joseph made himself known unto his brethren. And he wept aloud. And the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard. When Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph, doth my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am Joseph your brother, whom ye sold into Egypt. Now therefore be not grieved, nor angry with yourselves, that you sold me hither. For God did send me before you to preserve life. He tried to tell his brothers this long before they sold him to Egypt. Long before. And they hated him. The scripture says that they hated him. They were jealous. There could have been some things done wrong. Jacob, Joseph's father, uh, choosing favorites, having him as a favorite, that probably brought hardship. Uh, Joseph, flaunting that, this coat of many colors, and, uh, and how much his father loved him, probably added to that. And then, of course, the brothers themselves being jealous. But in this situation, they're afraid of what he's going to do. And Joseph says to them, Be not grieved nor angry with yourselves that you sold me hither, for God did send me before you to preserve life. So Joseph has a pretty good handle on everything that has happened to him, why it has happened to him. Very seldom do you run into people that have a good understanding of why life happens the way it does, why it happens to them, why it happens to others. Um, very seldom we expect that it should be just how we want it but we are mature enough to know that it is not always just how we want it if you can do something yourself and make it uh, the outcome come the way you want it to then fine but when you can't and it's left in the hands of other people then you understand that those people make their own choices and sometimes life becomes difficult for you because of that Having said that, Joseph says, God knew what was going to happen, so he sent me before you, so don't be grieved with this. When we pray and pray, Lord, whatever your will is, is what I want. That's difficult at times to pray. Most of the time, we, we would rather say, God, this is what I want. <laughs> but what we want doesn't always come to pass. So, Having said that, we know that God is always with us, even in the time when it is difficult. And Joseph sure had a lot of difficult times in his life. God is able to carry him through, to bring him through for the salvation of his whole family. It spared their lives because of that as well. So, You may ask me how I know my God. may doubt the things I say and doubt the way I be, but I know He's real today, He'll always be, 
I can feel his hand in mine and that's enough for me I He guides each step I take If I fall, I know He'll understand Till the day He tells me why He loves me so I can feel his hand in mine that's all I need to know I will never walk alone he holds my hand he guides each step I if I fall, I know he'll understand Till the day he tells me why He loves me so I can feel his hand in mine That's all I need to Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to walk with you and to talk with you and to hear what you have to say to us. God, just to feel your presence uh, with us. There are things that happen to us that we may never understand why. Uh, but God, you go before us and you see. And God, I pray that you would bless and take those things that happen and make us the people you would have for us to be. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless, folks. See you Tuesday.